Hello again, this is Stu, and this is Stu's Views, and I'm Stu. Welcome to part two of Stu's Views tonight. Um, tonight I'm going to give you a recipe, one of my personal favorites. Uh, since so many of you expressed an interest in my taco pizza recipe, I decided to give you one of my family favorite recipes. It's a tater tot dish, and it's really good, and I think you'll really like it, so here it is. Um, tonight I prepared a special stew recipe card, and um, at the bottom there you'll see the, all the ingredients here, and at the bottom there you'll see what you need to start with is a 9 by 13 inch pan, and what you want to do is get one of those you don't have one already and then preheat your oven to 350 and then and the next thing you do is get all these things here this is an onion that little thing and then some pepper this is a can of cream of celery soup that's a little stalk of celery there and a can of cream of mushroom soup and uh, this is a bunch of hamburger and uh, this is uh, milk and sour cream and what you want to do um, well this is uh, got a lot of cow stuff in it so if, you know if you don't like cow then maybe this recipe isn't for you but anyhow uh, if you if this recipe is for you then uh, start with the hamburger and brown it all up real good in a frying pan and then mix that with the sour cream uh, I'll use a half a cup and then a can of cream of mushroom soup and a can of cream of celery soup and then take one of those soup cans and fill it uh, halfway up with the milk and then so you're using half a can of uh, half a can of this with uh, milk and then some chopped up celery, uh, chopped up onion and then add a little bit of pepper till it tastes good and mix all that up and put that as the bottom layer in your pan and in your 9 by 13 pan and hopefully you know after cooking the hamburger it'll already be a little bit warm so uh, that'll help it cook kind of faster and then you're done with the first layer then next you can put in the peas layer and uh, that's just for a bag of frozen peas and you put those on the top there of, of the first layer and then the, uh, the very top are the agile tater tots just get a bag of those and the uh, line them all up nice and neat on the very top and then put the whole thing in the oven you're done and let it cook for 20 to 30 minutes or so and and then uh, until the tater tots are golden brown and uh, like uh, like tater tots are supposed to look and then when you're done you get something that looks like this and uh, well well, I already ate some of the tater tots because it was so good but uh, the tater tots look kind of like that they're nice and golden brown and you can sort of see the rest of the hot uh, the, uh, the dish there you know and uh, uh, I know what you're saying you're you're saying stew where's the peas well um, I I didn't have any peas and I really wanted to show you the recipe and so I uh, made it anyway and well anyway you get the idea uh, let's give it a try here and, and I'll let you know how it is yep it's good so anyway there's one for you to try if you haven't had that one already and uh, this is uh, Stu's Views with the uh, Tater Tot 
dish and and uh this is Stu saying thank you. Good night.